Hey guys, I wanted to show you this liquid sorting system. Um, what it does is it uses these liquid transfer nodes, transfer pipes and sorting pipes to essentially split liquids up. And it does it automatically. Um, and the good thing about it is unlike Buildcraft pipes or other systems, one, you don't need um, fancy uh, sorting systems to uh, have it work. It doesn't split liquids into multiple areas. It's a... Uh, it's fairly smart. There are some issues, but I'll show you how to fix them up later anyway. Um, well, let's just show you how, how it works. Let's just make it uh, morning again. And not raining, of course. In this first tank, we're just going to put some uh, random liquid in there. And as you can see, it's in there. Uh, it then gets sucked up by the liquid transfer node. And it starts searching the network for a spot to put it. And it just has. And it's found the first file spot, which is here. As you can see, it hasn't split the liquids across these other tanks. Uh, let's just chuck in this uh, blood. As you can see, it's there. We can even put uh, this one to work as well. At the same time. And it should find... There we go, blood goes in there. This one goes in there. And uh, for the final, we'll just put some water in there. As you can see, it does use quite a few different types of liquids. Uh, it should put the water in this one. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Uh, the reason why I've got a portable tank here is just to show you why I use portable tanks and uh, how. Well, you know, let's just show you. You can use these crescent hammers to pick up the tanks, which still have the water still in them. See, 1,000 1, out of 800. We'll just put it down there. We'll come over here. We'll chuck it down there. Get that. Crescent hammer out again. Change the pipe direction. We'll flick the switch on. And we'll suck the water out of here. This is probably one reason why I use these tanks, because you can just pick up and move, move liquids. But what happens if, say, you've put too much water in here, like I've done here? I've got two buckets here, don't need that much. What you want is something called a pipette. Just pick it up, put it over the top. It sucks a bucket of water out, it stores it in there. Then if you want to, say, move the water out of the pipette, find some kind of uh, liquid infantry that uh, that you can suck water out of, such as a still. Put it like that. And as you can see, now we've got water in there. Fail. As you can see, the water starts uh, being sucked out through this water tank, and then you can just put that there. Then you can pump the water back into a portable tank. And then you can come back to your system, and then put the water back. It's easy as that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.